Hi there, this is John Bond from Riverwinds Consulting and this is Publishing Defined. Today I'm going to be giving an overview of peer review. Peer review, as I'll be discussing today, relates to the scholarly review of an article for publication. I'm mostly going to discuss it as it relates to journals, but it also relates to books as well. Peer review is the quality control measure a publisher or a journal might take to determine what to publish. It is an essential step in furthering the research and the advancements in a particular field. Those publications that are not peer-reviewed are held in lower esteem than those that are. So how does peer review work? Typically, an author will choose a journal in their field that they would like to consider. They will go to the journal's website and upload their manuscript, figures, tables into an electronic review system. From here, the journal staff or the editor will take over. They may do a pre-check of the material to see that it fits within the journal's stated guidelines of the number of words or the number of images or the format that the manuscript is in. They may even dive into the content to see if it fits within the mission of the journal. Remember to follow a journal's guidelines very closely to save everyone time. If it doesn't follow those guidelines or meet the requirements, you may receive the article back with a letter stating why. Let's say it does follow the guidelines. The editor or the staff will assign it to peer reviewers. These reviewers may come from the editorial board, the editorial review panel, or other experts that are familiar with that area. From that point, the reviewers will read the article very closely and fill out a form that's personalized to that individual journal. They'll make a re recommendation of accept, accept with changes, revise, reject, and they'll pass that material back along to the staff or to the editor. Classically, there are three reviewers, but there may be more or less depending on the individual journal. Once the editor receives the material back, the editor will look and review the decisions. If there are three rejects or three accepts, the, the path is pretty clear. More likely, the verdict is mixed, in which case the editor would receive the, read the material and look at the reviews and make a decision. If the decisions are far apart, then the editor may ask the reviewer some probing questions or they may go to an additional reviewer. When a decision is finally made, the journal will go to the author and tell the author their decision. If the article is accepted, of course it will be edited, posted online, and published. Or the decision may be revised, in which case the publisher will give the author specific or broad suggestions of what's to be changed. The author can consider these, potentially make the changes, and resubmit the manuscript, and the process starts all over again. Or, the decision might be rejected, in which case the publisher may give comments back as to why the manuscript is being rejected. Either way, the process is likely to be blind or anonymous to the individual author. Peer review ensures quality. Publishing in a journal that embraces peer review means your work is more likely to be disseminated downloaded, and to have a greater number of citations. More on that later. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or click here to see more videos on peer review. Thank you very much and take care.